right, so as you guys know, I work 24 hours, and in those 24 hours, I'm expected to uh, eat and take care of patients and follow new consults and follow up on all of the consulting patients that were already kind of on our service and see any new traumas that come in um, while at the same time staying fresh. And so uh, you guys asked me like, do I get to sleep and what does that look like? And I wanted to talk to you guys about that because yes, I do get to sleep, uh, but for me, it's the kind of sleep uh, on a 24 hour shift that is important. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about four foods that I will never eat on a 24 hour shift because I wanna be able to sleep. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, Sedona. So if you are contemplating a 24 hour shift, let me just say welcome back to my channel first and foremost. If you're new, thank you so much for joining me. But if you're contemplating a 24 hour shift um, and you're like, well, what does that look like? Well, first and foremost, I'm up from like five in the morning on uh, one day to, you know, I'll wake up and go and do sign out and do all of that stuff and I'll be up at you know, till about nine the next day, and then I get to go home and take a nap and rest up, and it's all nice and cool. Um, but in that 24 to 28 hour span of time that I typically have a shift, depending on the night, um, you know, I'm trying to get as much rest as possible, uh, just because you never know what's gonna happen. You never know if a new trauma is gonna come in and if it's happening at an inopportune time. Although there are three of you on service typically at a time, you know, there's sometimes when, you know, we're working short and it's not three of us. Uh, thank God that those times are few and far between now. But uh, honestly, like if it's back to back to back in terms of the traumas that are coming in, there are nights when you really don't get to sleep at all. But on those nights where you do get to go back to your room, your call room, and just take a little rest, <laughs> uh, it is essential that the type of rest that you're getting is quality. Um, and for me, you know, obviously as I've gotten older and things like that, I've realized like there are certain things that I don't do well with my body um, late at night. Uh, there are certain things that will keep me up at night. Uh, and just in general, there are certain foods, four I would say to be exact, I would say there are maybe top five foods that you wouldn't eat. Uh, but there are four categories that I don't eat when I'm on a 24 hour shift. And it's really important because, like I said, I want to get quality rest uh, just because I never know if I'm going to get called for a consult as soon as I like try to hit the hay or if a trauma is going to come in and, you know, I'm up. Uh, so because of that, the quality of sleep that I get will be imperative to the quality of work that I can give and how I can perform as a trauma PA, which is essential because people's lives are ultimately in your hand, right? So let's get into the four foods that I suggest no one eats on a 24 hour shift. And the first one is saturated fats, foods high in saturated fats. Now, if you are like me, you know, you love your macaroni and cheese and stuff, you know, I love that. We call it macaroni pie in Trinidad, but but, um, you know, you, you love your macaroni and cheese and I love my macaroni and cheese and it's something that if I cook on a Sabbath, you know, and I'm working on a Sunday, then I will want to bring my leftovers to work. Uh, but it's not good to eat on a 24 hour shift because foods that are high in saturated fats like cheeses um, actually do not bode well for good quality rest. Actually, it makes it easier for you to have light rest and not fall into REM sleep, right? And so it is important that you get into the REM mode because you want that deep sleep, that quality sleep. But these saturated, like highly saturated foods, um, things that are like fried, like fries, um, you know, will keep you up at night or will make the sleep that you get very light. So any opening of doors or shutting of doors, uh, people walking outside of your room uh, will easily wake you up, which is not what you want on a 24 hour shift. So I never eat foods that are high in saturated fats, specifically late at night on a 24 hour shift. Okay. The next thing I don't do just in general, but I think it's something that you should really hold on to. Like I know that all, like pretty much almost all of my colleagues drink uh, coffee and, and intake caffeine. However, 
foods that are high in caffeine, like coffee or, you know, things that have like chocolate in it that has caffeine and sugar and sweets, those are also something that will prevent you from getting quality sleep. So I don't drink caffeine on a 24 hour shift. I really don't partaking caffeine just in general. Um, that's just kind of how I grew up. However, caffeine makes it very, very, again, easy for you not to slip into that REM sleep mode. And therefore it is imperative if you are trying to get quality rest that you do not partake in that. Specifically, like, especially if you're like right before you're about to go to bed and then you like chug a big cup of coffee, like who does that, right? Do not, um, drink or partake of foods that are high in caffeine or things like chocolate. Now, speaking of chocolate, um, your girl loves some, I love some like sweets in, in general. Like I, I don't like like milk chocolate. Like I'll take, I'll, I'll eat milk chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. And, and like hates when I say that because you know, he's dark chocolate. He's like, why'd you marry me? I'm like, oh, because I like dark chocolate men. Okay. Like let's go there. But <laughs> I don't like dark chocolate as a chocolate, as a sweet. However, um, I love like white chocolate. Uh, and I, you know, I'll, I'll like eat a cake or something like tres leches or like pineapple upside down cake. Like those are my, like my favorite things or a cheesecake. Uh, but I will never eat a sweet right before I'm about to go to bed. Um, so things that are like very, very like loaded with sugar, um, and like rich in carbs, no, it is a no, no. Like first and foremost, you're like already gonna like put yourself at a disadvantage because your body's gonna be trying to digest that while you are sleeping, when your organs should be at rest, uh, when your stomach should be at rest be while you're sleeping. Um, you are giving it work to do. Uh, and so you're taxing it. That's also going to hold on to those carbs and, you know, put on those extra pounds. And that's why oftentimes you see people that work like these night shifts and things like that, 24 hour shifts, uh, you know, they get a little bit rounder, um, in the midsection and lower section over time because we're snacking and, you know, eating candy and, you know, little tidbits of anything that has a little bit of sweet or sugar in it to kind of keep yourself awake and, and ready when you're like actually like actively doing stuff. Uh, but it is imperative to not do that because again, like I said, that causes not only like insomnia with respect to not being able to sleep, but it also causes anxiety. Uh, so it's really important that you try to cut that out of your diet. If you are doing 24 hour shifts. Don't like load up on your sugary um, sweets like chocolate and candies and you know, treats like cakes and stuff. As though we may love it all, uh, it is imperative for your rest, <laughs> for your quality rest, that you kind of eliminate that out um, in terms of like eating that late at night when you're ready to try and get some rest. I mean, there have been studies that have showed that when you eat foods that are very like high in sugar, um, loaded up with sugar and carbohydrates, that the insomnia that you experience will reduce obviously your immune system uh, because you're not getting the quality rest that you need. Uh, and then that kind of just kind of massacres you, your uh, attentiveness, uh, therefore it will reduce the quality of your performance um, in whatever it is you may be doing. And lastly, um, the next food that I typically do not eat when I'm on a 24 hour shift is anything that is spicy. Now I'm Trinidadian, so you know I love my spices, I love my spicy food, that is my thing. I love a little bit of pepper sauce, right? Um, but ultimately uh things that are high in um you know like in spices or acid inducing foods like tomato or um you know things that are pickled uh or citrus fruit uh what that induces is heartburn right it induces it in increases the acid in your stomach and it induces heartburn which again leads for restlessness um and it leads for waking you up at night with that burning sensation in your chest uh, which you don't want. Uh, so definitely do not eat spicy foods when you are on a 24 hour shift or if you're trying to get sleep or if you know, you're, you're trying to just go to bed at night and have a restful night. Uh, it's 
important that you kind of eliminate that out of your diet late at night. Uh, things that I kind of like lend towards or is something that a little bit more healthful, right? You know, like a banana or something, some little light snack. I really in general try not to eat after like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. the latest, especially when I'm on my 24s because I'm trying to like jump into bed as soon as possible. Uh, just even if it's to put my foot up, just to be relaxed and rested for when I am up next to be in action. And so uh, it is important that you get into a way um, of doing things and see what works well for you. But for me, and I think for lots of people, if you kind of introduce this into your lifestyle, just like a healthier lifestyle in general, but if you introduce this into your work lifestyle when or lifestyle when you're trying to not be woken up at night or have very quality rest. Uh, it is important to stay away from foods that are high in saturated fats, foods that have caffeine in it, foods that are filled with sugar, and then again, foods that are spicy, okay? Uh, that will do wonders for the type of rest that you get uh, at the end of it all. So hopefully this helps you. Let me know how it works. You know, try it for two weeks, see what happens, and let me know in the comment section uh, in two weeks from now, like what what worked for you. If it worked for you or if it didn't work for you, tell me. Um, I'm excited to hear. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at GTCU or get that to university where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.